For structures to collapse under load they have to become a mechanism. That is, the structure will undergo a gross movement before coming to rest in its collapsed state. For example, if a portal frame has four hinges, and is loaded by a horizontal load, it will collapse sideways as they rotate. When the frame has collapsed it is no longer a mechanism, as it can no longer move. In this example, the four-hinged portal is not a structure, but a mechanism. For structures to collapse they have to become mechanisms. This can happen suddenly or gradually. These two types of collapse can be compared with the two types of material behavior. The sudden collapse can be compared with the sudden failure of brittle materials, and gradual collapse with the plastic phase of elastic, plastic materials. Sudden collapse can occur for two reasons. First, the structural material is brittle. Second, the structure loses overall stability. Structural designers try to avoid using brittle materials, but this is not always possible. Although masonry and concrete exhibit some plastic behavior, the plastic phase is quite short, compared with ductile materials such as steel, so collapses can be sudden. Because of this, the factor of safety for these materials is high. Ductile metals such as steel can also become brittle. This can happen due to a very high number of repeated loadings, or high loading rates at low temperatures. With steel these problems are avoided by limiting the types of steel used in building structures. The loss of overall stability can occur, when the disturbing force, the loading, exceeds the restoring force due to gravity. Suppose a cantilever structure is anchored by a counterweight. Gravity acting on the counterweight causes a force that can balance loads on the cantilever. If the load is increased until the disturbing force exceeds the restoring force, the cantilever structure will tip, becoming a mechanism, and collapse. What is important to notice in the overall stability collapse is that the structural elements do not fail, but the load path loses stability. So the cantilever has not failed by losing strength as structural elements, but it has become part of an unstable load path. For overall stability, the factor of safety can be expressed as restoring force divided by disturbing force. Thanks for watching. We hope you found some useful tips. Check out our website at structuralengineercalcs.com. Please like and subscribe and let us know what would you like to see next. The human footprint is a masterpiece of engineering and a work of art. Stay safe. Goodbye, and see you soon.